Welcome to yet another video on Power Automate Desktop. In this video, we shall see how to extract only certain pages from a PDF file that contain a specific set of words. On your screen, you can see a PDF file that contains 25 pages, which include both text as well as images. We are interested in extracting only those pages in the text format that contain the words log sheet. Let's see how we can do that using Power Automate Desktop. On your screen is the Power Automate Desktop. We can create a new flow by clicking on this icon, which is New Flow with a plus symbol. In this dialog box, we have to give a flow name. Let's name it as Extract PDF Pages Containing Specific Text. Let's click on Create. A new screen opens up. In the new screen, we can see three parts. The left pane includes the actions that can be performed. On the right pane, you can see the variables that are created in this flow. In the middle pane, we can drag actions from the left pane and edit them and run the flow. In our PDF file, there are 25 pages. We have to read each page one by one, extract the text, and check whether the text contains the word log sheet. And if the text contains the word log sheet, we need to extract the page from the file. Whenever we have to iterate through a file, we use a loop. For that, let's expand the action loop here. We have an option loop. It iterates a block of actions for a specified number of times. So let's drag the loop over to the middle pane. Select parameters. In the first box, we have to set the starting point of the loop counter. We have 25 pages and we start counting from the first page. So I shall type 1 here. Now we have to set the ending point of the loop counter, which is the last page and the last page is 25. We have to increment by 1 because we have to read each page. So let's type 1 and click on Save. We have created a loop which creates a variable called loop index. When the first page is read, the value in the loop index would be 1. When we move to the second page, the loop index will become 2 and so on. And you can see the flow variables that are created here. In this case, loop index. We have to perform actions on a PDF file. In order to find out the permissible actions on a PDF file, let's search actions by typing PDF. We have to first extract text from each page in the PDF file. And if the text contains the words log sheet, we have to extract that page. So let's drag and drop extract text from PDF within this loop. We have to select parameters. The first parameter is the PDF file. Let's select the file by clicking on this icon. Combine.pdf is the file that I'm going to use. Let's select the file and click on Open. The pages to extract, let's select Single because we are going to loop through each page. And Single Page Number, let's click on the variable and select the variable Loop Index. Click on Select. When the loop index is 1, the first page will be selected. When the loop index moves to 2, the second page will be selected, and so on. In case your file is password protected, you can click on Advanced and provide the password here. The variable that would be produced in this step would be extracted PDF text. So let's click on Save. After the step, we have to check whether the text that is extracted from each page contains the words log sheet. For that, we are going to use the conditionals action. Here we have the conditionals action. When we expand this, we can see if. If marks the beginning of a block of actions that is run if the condition specified in the statement is met. So let's drag if and drop it within the loop under extract text. In this dialog box, we have to give the first operand. The first operand in this case would be the extracted PDF text. To get the variable, let's click on this icon, select variable, and select extract PDF text. Click on select the operator. Let's expand this and select contains. So if the extracted PDF text contains, the second operand is the words to be checked in the extracted PDF text. In our case, it is log sheet. We can tell Power Automate to ignore case by turning on this toggle switch. The words log sheet, irrespective of the case, would be searched within the extracted PDF text. Let's click on Save. 
If the extracted PDF text contains log sheet, we have to specify an action within the if end block. Let's go back to the PDF action. If the extracted text contains the words log sheet, we want to extract the PDF file pages into a new PDF file. So let's drag this action and drop it within the if clause and we have to select the parameters. The first parameter is the PDF file. So let's select the PDF file by clicking here. This is the PDF file from which the pages are to be extracted. Let's click here. I want to extract the pages from combine.pdf. Let's select this and click on open. Now the page selection, which pages to be extracted. We select loop index. Loop index will indicate the page which it is looping through, which contains the text log sheet. Extracted file path. If the condition is met, the page would be extracted into a different folder. So let's select the folder in which we have to extract the page. So let's click on this icon and I want the extracted pages within the folder split files. Click on open. We have to give a file name for the file that is extracted. So I'm going to use page and the page number would be indicated by the loop index. So let's type percentage loop index percentage. Let's click on open. If this file already exists in the folder, what should be done? So let's expand this. There are three actions we are going to select override. The file name that is created will be displayed in the variable extracted. PDF. So let's click on save and we have the flow here. Let's recap. My PDF file consists of 25 pages. I want to loop through each page and check whether it contains the text log sheet. Therefore, I create a loop first and the loop index would start from 1 to 25, which is the last page and the variable created in this step is called the loop index. Then we use extract text from PDF to check whether every page that is read contains the words log sheet. For extracting text from PDF, we use this action extract text from PDF which is available under the PDF actions. Then we create an if condition to check whether the extracted PDF text, which is the variable that is created after executing this step, contains the word log sheet. If it contains the word log sheet, this action needs to be performed. That is, the page needs to be extracted from the PDF file and a new file has to be created. So extract PDF file pages into new PDF action is dragged and dropped within the if condition. The most important point that we have to remember when we extract PDF file pages is we have to provide the extension in the file name. So let's edit this flow. For editing this flow, let's click on the ellipsis here. Click on edit and in the extracted file path, this is the new file name that we are giving to each extracted page. And after that, we have to provide the extension .pdf. Otherwise, we cannot ascertain the type of file that has been extracted. So let's click on save and run the flow. You can see the flow moving and the various variables changing. As there are no error messages, we can say that the flow has executed successfully. Now let's check the folder in which the pages containing the words log sheet have to be extracted. We can see that in this folder, five pages have been extracted. And when I click on each page, we can see that the page contains the word log sheet. So we have run the flow successfully. You can reuse this flow any number of times simply by changing the file path. Let's save the flow by clicking on the save button here. On the opening page of Power Automate, you can see the flow name. You can run the flow from here by clicking on the run icon and you can edit the flow by clicking on the edit icon. You can see many more actions here by clicking on the ellipsis. You can rename, create a copy, delete and so on. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to choose the all option so that you shall get notified as soon as we upload 
new content in our channel. Thank you very much for your continued support and patronage. Please visit our website paddycosmos.com. See you again with yet another video on how to extract images that contain specific text. Have a great day.